Welcome to SoundBite, a low-carb, high-protein, bite-sized portion of that which makes America. Your hosts for this morsel of Americana are Christy Uden and Laura Bynum. Today's SoundBite is our final piece. We wanted to take these five minutes of airtime and put together an audio collage of all the amazingly thoughtful responses our friends, family, and listeners have given us during our program. Their eloquence has always been more illustrative and more poignant than anything we could ever have written. Why do you think it's important that people understand what the Constitution is? Uh, Because that's every citizen's basic rights, and they should know what their rights are. Um, Well, the Constitution sets the framework for the government, and our Constitution is important because it it set the checks and balances among the three branches of government so that no one branch is more powerful than the others. If you were um, a visitor to the United States from, let's say, a foreign country, and you happen to see the first 10 amendments, uh, amendments? (laughs) The first 10 amendments to the Constitution known as the Bill of Rights and the rights that they provide, things like, you know, the freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to a speedy trial, what would that tell you about America? It would tell me that it's a very open country that's willing to listen to each individual as an individual and try to ensure that they had individualistic rights. Why do you think it's important that people should be able to make up their own minds about what they want to do in this country? Because if we lived in a world that we would have to be able to do every single thing people told us to, what fun would life be? This week's episode focuses on the 19th amendment that in 1920 finally allowed women the right to vote thank you folks you're what early 50s i would say a little more than that maybe (laughs) mid but you do you remember like when they were campaigning hard I remember very well. As I went to college, uh, it it became an even bigger issue. And I think we were the first generation of women in this country that were impacted by this movement. How do you think you were impacted? Women started going to work in droves at that point in time and expecting to have the same rights as men did in the workplace because they could see very early on in their working careers that that was not the case. The ERA movement developed. While originally it was considered very radical in its day, if you look at a historical perspective, that's about the only way changes have ever been made. What do you think, having studied the Constitution and all its concurrent amendments, do you think is the the amendment that most needs watchdogging? Um, I would have to say probably the Fourth Amendment, um, just because I believe that the Patriot Act kind of, in my, my sense, is in direct violation of the Fourth Amendment, where we are doing unreasonable searches and seizures, and it specifically says that we, are, that we should not be doing unreasonable searches and seizures. We should always have, I think, the right to speak our mind. It's, it's one that I argue with the most is free speech. Okay. Well, that's good, though. It gives you the right to argue. And what if you could choose one to be the next, the 28th Amendment, what would it be? Well, I'd have to say um, the same, I'm sure, as you, the Equal Rights Amendment. I think that it would be to everyone's best interest if everybody, no matter their sex or their race, has equal rights. Is there any amendment you think is in current danger? Why, I think a vast number of the amendments are in danger, and largely I think it's because the very reason we put together this program is so that people are aware of the Constitution and the amendments and the freedoms that have been fought so hard for and laid down for us. I think if people want to maintain our freedoms and really feel secure that the the freedoms that we have now are the ones that we're going to pass on to our children. We've got to get educated about them. We've got to know what we're voting for. We've got to know the people in office. We've got to know the agendas. And um, education and proactive positioning, I think, are the way to go. Today we're leaving you with a little something to wet your palate. Something, once digested, may help elucidate your path to getting involved. When you die and get to wherever your religious beliefs take you, for the purposes of our metaphor, we're going to say heaven. If during your post-life, post-mortem with God, 
God asks you one very special question. Think long and hard about what your answer would be. For all the precious moments you've been granted on earth, for all the things you've filled up your days with, and for all people you've filled up your hearts with, what have you done to make the world a better place? Thank you. Thank you for your time and support. Soundbite was written and produced by Christy Uden and Laura Bynum. Music by Kevin Elliott.